Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time is about how my girlfriend went absolutely insane. This story time takes place in 2016. I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump right into this. So, it was a normal day, like I said, back in 2016. I woke up, I was dating this girl for about three months, and I'm going to be honest, it wasn't the best relationship at all. Um, three months into it, we started to disagree a lot more, and we kind of both came to learn that we weren't really that compatible with each other. And you could clearly tell that the minute we started dating, we started disagreeing a lot more. So one day I was at her house, and I decided that it'd be a good time to tell her that, and that we should probably just stay friends, because when we were friends, we never disagreed this much, and it just wasn't this complicated. And I really thought she would agree, because she seemed super chill. But sadly, I was mistaken, because when I brought it up to her, I was like, hey, I think it's just a better idea if we stay friends. Like, before we started dating, we never got into this many disagreements. Like, we were way more compatible as friends. Don't you agree? And she's like, oh yeah, sure, I agree. And she gets up and she walks out of the room. And I was like, where are you going? And she goes, one sec. And she walks out of her room, and she comes back in the room with a hoodie I bought her, and she threw it at me, and it just came out of the washing machine, so it was wet. And I was like, yo, come on. And she's like, no, come on, if you're going to break up with me, then take your stuff back that you got me. And I was like, I don't want the stuff back that I got you. Like, it's yours. You can keep it. And she was like, well, I don't want it. I'm like, all right, fair enough. Like, I'll take it. So I pick up this wet hoodie and she starts walking around her room, getting all the things that belong to me and all the things that I got her throughout our relationship and just starts throwing them at me. So I tell her, I'm like, can you please stop? And she starts screaming at me. She's like, just leave. Just get out of my house. And I was like, all right, fine. So I grab my backpack. I grab the stuff she threw at me and I start walking out of her house. And as I'm walking out of the front door, I hear her in the kitchen getting something out of one of the drawers. And I didn't know what it was, but I quickly walked away because I didn't want to know what it was if she was going to throw it at me. She seemed really mad, so I wouldn't be surprised if she was getting a fork or something to throw at me. So yeah, I quickly walked out the front door and I walk out onto her front lawn and I'm walking away and I hear her yell from the front door, Hey, Austin. And I turn around and she's holding a legit, like, full-blown kitchen knife. And she goes, Don't come back here. And she's just staring at me, holding this kitchen knife. So I'm staring at her and I'm thinking to myself like, wow, this is not how I expected it to go. I'm actually terrified. So I say to her, I'm like, don't worry, I won't come back. And she goes, good. And then she does that thing where like you fake lunge at someone, like when you're about to fight them or like as a joke. And I just turned around and got the fuck out of there. Like I left so fast because like clearly she was um, not in the right state of mind and I did not want to lose my life that day. So yeah, I didn't have a ride home because she was the one who picked me up. So I walked all the way to my friend's house. And I just told him the whole story, and he was like, yo, you are so lucky you got out when you did. Like, that whole situation somehow probably could have gone even worse. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. So yeah, after that, my friend drove me back to my house. I told my brothers about what happened and to keep an eye out for my ex-girlfriend. And if she comes over, to either call the police or tell me. And I ended up blocking her on everything. And that was pretty much the end of that. Now, that wasn't the end of her, because there's another story time that I'll be telling after this one soon enough. That's a part two to this, but that's the end of that story, okay? Sorry to leave you cliffhanging, but the next one will be good, I promise. But yeah, guys, that's the end of that story time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace.